Welcome back. We'll take a look at some sports with Ayotunde Balubu. The ultimate redefined for men. Time now for some sports news. Super Eagles defender Kenneth Omero has joined Turkish Super League side Kasim Pasa on a season-long loan deal from English champions Chelsea. Now, Omero underwent his medical at Kasim Pasa yesterday before signing a deal which includes an option for the Turkish club to buy him at the end of the loan. Now, the former Sunshine Stars defender who joined Chelsea in January 2012 spent last season on loan at English Championship side Middlesbrough making 22 appearances. The Technical and Development Committee of the Nigeria Football Federation will meet with head coaches of the senior women and the under-23 national teams on Wednesday as the Federation adopts a must-win approach to both teams' qualifying campaign away in Bata and Pointe Noire. The Super Falcons were held to a one-all draw with their counterparts from Equatorial Guinea in their Olympic qualifier in Abuja on Saturday while CICS under-23 awards look to be cruising to a comfortable win over Congo in their African Championship qualifier in Port Harcourt on Sunday, but then took their feet off the pedal to finish with a slim 2-1 win. Tyson Fury says he will beat Vladimir Klitschko when the pair face off in their world title fight on October the 24th. Fury was in playful and then aggressive mood at the first press conference for his showdown with Klitschko in Dusseldorf, Germany. The 26-year-old Mancunian is unbeaten in 24 fights with 18 coming by knockout. I believe that Tyson Fury is really meaning here what he's talking about and he's definitely not coming here on October 24th just to be present and be on the canvas. No, he came here to win the championship fight. Yeah. I'm interested in all the titles, all them belts you've got on there. I'm interested in breaking your face in. That's what I'm interested in. Yeah. You're boring. I want to rid you out of the heavyweight division. Your jab and grab style, surely all of Europe wants to see you get beaten. And all of Europe and the rest of the world will see you get beaten. You have about as much charisma as my underpants. Zero. None. A former world number one Stan Smith believes Amelie Moresmo is fully deserving of her place in the Tennis Hall of Fame. In a career spanning over 15 years, Moresmo won two Grand Slam titles as well as the World Tour Finals in 2005, the Fed Cup in 2003 and an Olympic silver medal. Well, Amelie Moresmo is uh, a Hall of Famer. She kind of was didn't get her full credit when she won the Australian because Hennen uh, didn't really finish the match and then but she did beat her in, in Wimbledon so uh, she's shown her colors in uh, having an unbelievably strong long record and and doing quite well in the Grand Slams playing Fed Cup doing well uh, throughout the Fed Cup she had a great all-around game which is a little bit unusual in today's tennis she could volley she could attack she could stay back and play defensively so she had a, a great interesting game to watch and a great one-handed backhand which is very unusual well that'll be it on sports news ijama will be back with the rest of the news at 10. this is the ultimate redefined for men as Kenya prepares to host U.S. President Barack Obama, his Kenyan counterpart has announced that the talks will focus on improving security cooperation and trade links between Kenya and the United States. Here's Cynthia Are with more. Well, thank you very much. Indeed, security has been an issue over the past two years. Kenya has suffered a series of major attacks by Somali Islamist group Al-Shabaab, including a massacre in April in which 114 people were killed at a Kenyan university near the Somali border. The violence has hurt Kenya's tourism industry vital to the East Africa's biggest economy and has also piled pressure on President Kenyatta to improve security. 
Still in East Africa, without surprise, a policeman and an opposition official have lost their lives in violence, marring the start of Burundi's presidential election, already hit by opposition boycotts and protests over President Nkurunziza's decision to run for a third term. Blasts and gunfire echoed around the capital early this morning in the nation which is grappling with its worst crisis since a civil war ended back in 2005. Finally, the Turkey Prime Minister has confirmed that a suspect has been identified in the suicide bomb attack that killed 32 young activists in the country. Ahmed Davutoglu, who is due to visit the scene of the blast in Surch near the Syrian border, said the suspect's international and domestic links were being investigated. That's the foreign news wrap-up. It's back to you, Ijoma. Thanks a lot, Cynthia. And the main news again. The United States has vowed to help Nigeria recover stolen funds stashed away in foreign accounts, including those in the United States. The president says no one will be spared in the fight against corruption and promised that no effort spared will be spared in bringing back the Chibok girls. And the World Bank has promised to spend $2.1 billion to rehabilitate internally displaced people in Nigeria's northeast. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahonyato. You have a good night.